Oh, well, Terry, I guess frustrating in the end not to get a, not to get a win, having been ahead twice. And but I guess you know we also take a point, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's a point, a point closer to where we want to be. Um, but yeah, to, to to be ahead twice and to concede two set pieces is uh, extremely frustrating because we've been good in recent weeks and um, just crept back into our game today, which is which is like I said, disappointing. Yeah, I probably didn't see that coming really. Although we knew it was going to be a tougher game than perhaps last week, just because of where Carnarvon are in the league and the way they play, they always keep a game in it. Um, but we probably lacked a bit of control, I guess, which is to how, how those moments crept in then. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sort of, you know, possession-wise, we had a lot of the ball and, uh, you know, Carnarvon were well organised out of possession and at times they were very dangerous on the counter-attack. You know, we dealt with that better second half than did first half. But, you know, to, to score two goals at home, we can see two set pieces is, is, is uh, like I said, is very disappointing. But, listen, it's a point. We move on and uh, we prepare for Flint away next Saturday now. Yeah, it was a good start to the game. Um, obviously, it's a brilliant ball from Jamie. Uh, picks up Jack, who has a great touch and a great finish. An all-round really good goal. One of the be- one of the better ones we've seen this season. Yeah, it was a good goal. Jack scored a similar goal, funny enough, away at Carnarvon. Yeah. Um, I think it was Abu who played the ball to him that day. But um, yeah, Jack's got himself in a great position and uh, he's took it well. You know, I thought we had enough chances to win the game and put balls in dangerous positions in in the area, but uh, just wouldn't fall for us today, or, or we just wouldn't get on the end of it. And it's something that we work on and something we'll carry on. Trying to improve. Hmm. Disappointing, I guess, to see Jazz going off, and particularly with it was his 50th game for the club today, so a good milestone for him, but disappointing, I guess, ultimately how it ends. Yeah, it's always tough when, when somebody gets injured, um, you know, especially so early in the first half as well, or in the first half. You just lose a bit of momentum then, you have to change things around, and uh, you know, it took us a while to settle down once Jazz went off, but as the game went on, I thought we, you know, we played quite well. I know we've played a lot worse than that this year. Hmm. and. Um, but like I said, we just couldn't get the goal to, to finish the game off or to get two ahead. Yeah, it was Pats who came on for Jazz. Um, he did really well at the back and also in terms of getting the goal, which looked like it could have won us the game, but overall a good ca- uh, cameo from him off the bench. Yeah, Pats has had a couple of weeks uh, with a little niggle, so it was good that Pats came back in today because you know, everybody needs minutes and uh, once we've got the squad that we've got at the moment, um, it allows us to do that. But, um, you know, losing Jazz, so, you know, hopefully it's, it's nothing too serious and uh, hopefully he'll be back with us soon. Uh, Dan making his first start. He came off the bench last week, but it was his first start today. He looked pretty lively. Um, couldn't get his goal, but he was he was involved in a lot of stuff. Yeah, Dan Jordan. You know, everybody was lively at times. But, you know, I think it did tire. You know, Dan hasn't played a full game for a long time. But because of the early substitution with Jazz, you know, you, you lose a sub then, and mm. and we couldn't really uh, change things too much in, in terms of forwards. So um, it was good for Sheps to get on as well, get twenty minutes. So yeah. you know, it, it bodes well for the last four games of the season. Ultimately, I guess it's one of those games where you just, you know, in review, that you just think it's one of those games where another day you win it, another day you don't. So there's not too much to be concerned about. It's just one of those, really. Yeah, we're still in seventh. It's a point, uh, a point more than we had when we started the game. So that's the way to look at the positives for me. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pleased the way we play. Just two lapses of concentration have cost us two points today. Yeah, so Flint next up then next week. I believe they've lost late on to Abbott today, so it just means everything's tightened up again down the bottom and it's very much the same as the same situation for us as another big game next week and it could be a big step. Yeah, listen, we've got four, four big games, four big games, so as everybody else and uh, all we can do, as I keep saying, is look after ourselves and, and give the, the best account of ourselves that we can and if we do that and, and play like we did today and take our chances, then things will be fine, but uh, we know how tough the last four games are going to be.